Hey everybody, I'm Louie. I'm a motorcycle gear expert here at Jaffram. Today we're going to look at some of the different types of helmets. There are literally hundreds of helmets to choose from nowadays, and a lot of folks ask us what the best type of helmet is. The answer is simple. Just like any other tool or accessory, it's the one that best suits your needs. In this video, we will help you identify those needs and examine the four types of helmets. Full face, modular, three quarter, and half helmet. All right, let's identify your helmet needs. You can do this by asking yourself four questions. First, what am I riding? Consider the presence of a windshield, your riding position, and style. When you purchased your motorcycle, were you going for a certain look? Next, what environment am I riding in? Temperature and overall climate can definitely play a role in your helmet style choice. Also, what kind of riding will I be doing? A short commute on low speed roadways may warrant a different helmet choice than a long distance highway ride. Finally, and probably the most important, what are my safety wants and needs? The different types of helmets offer different levels of safety. You will have to decide what helmet features are most important to you. Some helmet characteristics, like an exposed face for example, may promote airflow and breathability, but come at the sacrifice of some protection for your face. Let's start looking at the different types of helmets. First, we have the half helmet. These helmets are very popular because of their reasonable price, minimalist look, low profile, and virtually unobstructed airflow. Now remember though, this airflow comes at a price. You see, these helmets only come down to just above the ear and do not protect your face, jawline, or the bottom of the back of your head. And the bottom of the back of your head near your neck houses your brain stem. This part of the brain controls all of your body's involuntary function, like breathing and heartbeat. Pretty important stuff. Now, like I said, most half helmets also do not offer any protection for the face. Now, recently though, helmet manufacturers have started adding built-in eye protection, and this is really convenient. Now, many of these systems are not shatterproof though, a good pair of polycarb riding glasses will offer a higher level of protection than most helmets built in optics. And bottom line, most half helmet wearers will want to have some sort of windshield on their bike. Otherwise, you will have little or no facial protection from road debris unless your lid comes equipped with forehead snaps for the addition of a visor or face shield. Now, some half helmets have supplemental ear curtains and these add warmth and reduce wind noise. If you are considering any type of helmet communication device, be sure to pick a half helmet with ear curtain pockets. Now, without these ear curtain pockets, you will have a very difficult time installing the speakers. Also, speaker sound quality will not be as good in a half helmet because there is no way to create a good seal against your face. Now, don't get me wrong, half helmets aren't all bad. These helmets can be very comfortable at street speed, and it's really nice to hear all the sounds around you when you're coming down the mountain. Next, we have the three-quarter style helmet. Three-quarter helmets can differ dramatically in price. This is due to their wide range of features and the variety of materials used in their construction. Now, this helmet type offers significantly more protection than a half helmet, but still offers very good ventilation and airflow to the face. Now, the face is still not protected with this helmet type, but the lower portion of the back of the head, or the brainstem, is protected. And this helmet type is very popular with numerous types of riders, from a rider on a vintage cafe style bike to an iron butt tourer looking for great airflow and a good platform for their communication device. And most three-quarter helmets have a three to five snap system on the front to accommodate a visor or a face shield, and some have pass-through ventilation, which helps keep the liner dry. The next type of helmet is rapidly becoming one of the most popular styles. Now, while they used to be very bulky and geeky, advances in helmet design and the sheer versatility of the modular helmet make it a great choice for many different types of riders. Now, most helmet manufacturers now make a modular helmet. The price can differ greatly depending on the helmet's features and the materials used in manufacturing. The modular helmet has a raisable chin bar. This provides some of the protection of a full space helmet, but also offers great breathability of the three quarter. A chin bar also affords you a gasket and face shield. This provides maximum protection from road debris and a quieter ride. Reduced wind noise is key if you're looking to use your communication device for music playback. Remember, while a modular helmet does offer the increased safety of a chin bar, this chin bar is hinged, so it is not as rigid and does not provide as much protection as a fixed full face. Now, many modular helmets offer the more advanced ventilation systems and wicking liners of their full face brothers. Also, with the recent addition of retractable eye shields and pump to fit systems, the modular helmet has become one of the most versatile styles of helmets you can buy. The last, but certainly not least, is the fixed full face style helmet. This style provides by far the most protection of any of the four styles of helmets. The fixed chin bar, full coverage gasketed face shield, shell design, and full coverage EPS liner make the full face ideal for providing protection from road debris, minimizing turbulence, and impact absorption. 
Full face helmets cover the widest range in pricing. Some polycarbonate helmets start as low as about 60 bucks, and one carbon fiber helmet retails for a whopping four grand. And don't let that scare you though. A quality Snell rated helmet can retail for as low as $150. When choosing a full face helmet, it is important to take note of what kind of bike you're riding. It's important not to choose a helmet just because it has your favorite graphic on it. Different helmets are designed to be aerodynamic in different positions. A helmet that was designed in a wind tunnel to provide the most ventilation in a full tuck may whistle or provide poor ventilation when worn in an upright position. For example, Shirley's famed X12 helmet is one of the finest motorcycle helmets you can buy. This helmet was designed with the racetrack in mind. This helmet is ideal for a track day rider on a fully fared sport bike. The ventilation and aerodynamics are tough to beat in this environment. On a naked bike, being ridden on the street though, the aerodynamics and venting of the X12's less expensive little brother, the RF1100, are far superior. And this helmet works best in a more upright seating position, on a bike with little or no windscreen. Now the deterrent for most folks when considering a full face helmet is heat. There is obviously less airflow to the face and to the neck with a full face helmet than with any other helmet style. Now, some full face helmets have pretty amazing ventilation though. The ventilation on this Arai Defiant, for example, is incredibly sophisticated. It does an amazing job of keeping your head cool, dry, and comfortable. And there are also some helmets out there that bridge the gap between two of the different helmet types. The Bell Rogue, for example, bridges the gap between the half and three quarter styles. And the Scorpion XO900 bridges the gap between the three quarter and the modular segments, and so on and so forth. We are going to be doing a video soon dedicated to these hybrid helmets, so don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and stay tuned. Thank you for watching our video on how to choose the right helmet. To see detailed reviews on any of the helmets you see here, just subscribe to our YouTube page or check out our website, jaffram.com. There's a ton of information on this subject. If you feel like we missed something or just want to say hey, feel free to leave a comment. Like us on Facebook and check out all of our other videos on YouTube as well. Remember folks, at Jaffram, we're trained professionals, so don't try any of this at home. Try it on your bike. I'm Louie, and we'll see you next time.